Now, on the foreign front, Singapore's parliament has dissolved today for an election, even as the city-state struggles to recover from a major coronavirus outbreak that has swept through crowded migrant worker dormitories. In a live broadcast, Prime Minister Li Xian Lung said he decided to call for the elections now as the government's five-year five term is ending. Lee announced he had advised President Halimah Yaakob to dissolve parliament and issue the writ of election. A raft of safety measures will be in place to prevent infections, with voters required to wear masks and gloves at polling stations, while campaign rallies look set to be banned. The financial hub initially won praise for keeping the virus in check with a rigorous system of testing and contact tracing, only for infections to later hit massive dormitory complexes housing low-paid foreign workers. But with the outbreak slowing and authorities gradually loosening virus curbs, the long-ruling People's Action Party is pushing ahead with an election that must be held by April next year. The date of the vote will be announced later, but it is expected in July. Singapore reported 119 new COVID-19 infections on Tuesday, bringing the total to over 42,400. The death toll stands at 26. At the moment, the country is also reeling from flash floods after heavy showers were reported earlier today. Meanwhile, the PAP party is expected to win with a bigger mandate, according to political analyst Azmi Hassan. The economic uncertainty coupled with the limited on-ground campaigning capability is expected to give Prime Minister Lee a bigger edge in the polls. Azmi said elections only needs to be called by next year, April, by Lee. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, mass rallies are not allowed and only small groups are allowed to go out during campaigning. Azmi added, as an incumbent government, the PAP will have the advantage against the smaller opposition in Singapore. And as uh, Prime Minister Seng Lung said, uh, he wants to clear the deck, uh, meaning that there are certain issues that uh, the government need the people's mandate. Uh, so I see two reasons, uh, basically, why the election is called now. One, because of the pandemic uh, issue that will give advantage to the government. And another thing is that the government want a new mandate because of the coronavirus, the economy will be, won't be that good uh, in the coming years. The main issue weighing on Singaporean voters' mind will be the economic situation. 